Ah, seagull love. They love my cooking. <laughs> These are the seagulls down at the Verrazano Bridge. Look where we are. Ah, seagulls. What's up, seagulls? Eating Italian food. <laughs> Pasta and rice. Italian bread. Big guys. Wow. You ever think that you'd be living in 1984? Right? When I was in high school, I read the book, uh, George Orwell, 1984, and I said, nah. That could never happen. I could never have. People are smarter than that. People aren't that stupid. They would never, they would never, they would never go along with it. But here we are, you know. You, you know, I, you work in an agency and you're not allowed to talk about politics, religion. But meanwhile, they have CNN running around the clock in the in the lobby. You're not allowed to talk about it, but you have to watch it. My name is Marcus Conti. I'm a former sanitation enforcement agent. I'm the, uh, still looking for a title for myself. I'm the every man's, every man's investigative journalist. I am you, you are me. Right? Not doing anything special. <laughs> I have no, no strings attached. Just every man's kind of guy. I'm sure it's also windy out. I'm just trying to find. It's hard to stay in one place. It's very windy. But, uh, it's a little proof of life today out feeding the squirrels, feeding the seagulls. And, uh, it's a good week, right? We saw, we had our day in court almost. We had the, the, we're on the steps of the court, miserable blizzard of a day. Thank you, Jason Goodman, for coming out, covering it. He covered what no one else would cover. He, we saw what nobody saw. Right. All the congressmen, all the councilmen, all the senators. I want to apologize. I didn't mention in that interview that uh, Marty Golden, my senator in Brooklyn, in Bay Ridge, did in fact uh, offer a letter. He gave up. He, he gave me personally a letter, signed letter of support in this case. And um, I failed to mention that. And it's you could you could read it down below. It's in there. The actual letter. So, uh, but all the councilmen, other councilmen, and agencies, mayor, AG, IG, public advocate, nobody silenced. So anyway, uh, public. I guess still a little current events. Um, so what was going on in the news today? The 1984 thing, really. Around the park. Pow, walking in the park. I'm alive. It's fucking March. It's March. Right? It's March 2018. I'm still talking about this crap. So, um, President Trump, right, is, has, uh, says, I'll talk to Kim Jong un in South Korea, uh, North Korea. And, uh, you know, the, the lunatic left goes crazy. Oh, you can't do that! Uh, all the things that Obama couldn't do. Trump is, you know, Israel. Showing it to be a total farce, you know? Like, it's a good thing. That's a good thing. You're talking to a crazy person with a lot of bombs over in North Korea. He's unstable and the people are, you know, be, they don't know what's going on in the real world. They're cut off, right? So here's Trump reaching out and let's, uh, both of these guys are... One is crazier than the other, and it's a perfect match. Who, who's better to talk to a crazy person than, than, you know, Trump who's out there, you know? So that's a good thing. But, again, lunatic left is crushing him on that one. What else is going on? Oh, I saw great. See, I, I always, I believe and still believe and always have believed that 
change has to come, right? Political change has to come through a change of heart, right? It has to be... See, it can't be, this is my job and... And, and and if I want to move up I have to I have to sacrifice my civil rights and I have to you know break the law I have to you know put my opinion in my pocket I have to suspend critical thinking right all these kind of things that we take for granted right so it has to be to, to change that to change the society we see around us, to change the way politics work and the way uh, human rights work, we have to change our... Uh, the change has to be from within. And I read this, this article. It's kind of, a great example of that. There's 500, um, 500 doctors in, in Canada decided they protested to give them, they protested their own pay raise. They make two hundred sixty thousand dollars a year. They protested any raise and and uh, unabashedly said that they'd like to give it to the poor, people in need, and nurses. Increase their income. See, now that's that's a bold statement right there. See, that's something that I don't know. In my view, it's you know, in a, in a place like America where it's you know, cutthroaty, every man for himself. If it's okay with me, it's okay. You know, that kind of mentality. Something like that couldn't happen. But there they are in Canada, a bunch of doctors, you know, did it. I think it was in Newsweek. I don't know. I saw it. I, somebody, I think Lionel Nation reported on it, but uh, we'll put it in there. Joe Biden running for president. What a fucking joke. Him and Tulsi Gabbard and all the rest of them, even Bernie Sanders. Go away, man. Go, come on, go away. Go away. TYT, all you guys trying to promote this draft Bernie bullshit and, and Tulsi Gabbard and Joe Biden. Joe Biden's a jerk off. Jerk off Joe. Right? Come on, what does that guy stand for? That guy's a fucking corporate tool. Why would you even consider it? Or the, the or, or Gillibrand, the senator from New York. She's a fucking stooge. <laughs> what we'll for president? They're already talking about 2020 president, right? Trump's going to... Look, there's no doubt about it. Trump wins, hands down. If these idiots... Right? They, they don't have a candidate, right? They don't have a candidate. Bernie's... Forget about it. He's not going to make it because he's, he's not... He, he lost his testicles. <laughs> so, um... I don't know what I was trying to say there, but no Joe Biden. That's not going to happen. <laughs> you got to remember... 25%, 25, 30, 40%, the base of the Democratic Party at the time of 2016 was <coughs> supporting Bernie Sanders for the reason of income income inequality, uh, you know, raise the minimum wage, get money out of politics, term limits, uh, overturn Citizens United, f- health care for all, free college tuition, Right? Get, get jerk off like like Joe Biden doesn't stand for anything. Oh, also, uh, I know we have a lot of new subscribers. Thank you very much. I see the number from the... Uh, this is my second time on Crowdsource the Truth, so... Really, I'm not about I'm not about the numbers. I just... I, I'm somebody who... I am you, you are me, you know? But uh, it's nice to have... It's nice to have a, a bigger audience, people watching. Pass it around, you know? What was the other thing? Uh... I think that's about it for now, but uh, hopefully the wind isn't so bad today. And uh, we'll keep rowing, man. Keep rowing. Keep. We're going to keep going, keep going, keep going. What's next? Is the city council bullshit meeting on Wednesday. We'll see who shows up. Peace out.